Hello, YouTube subscribers. My name is Eric Rexted. I still work at the University of St. Andrews. It's been quite some time since I've added any material to this channel that describes distance sampling. The reason that I haven't added much new material recently is because I've been working on a new project, and that new project is one that I'm, trying, I'm going to describe to you today. The new project consists of adding considerable additional material to the YouTube lectures that I have on this channel. The content that has been added is are a number of lectures that you've not previously seen, but more exciting than that are these lectures are being delivered by many of my colleagues here at the University of St. Andrews. So in addition to hearing some of the things that I've had to say, you'll also hear about a number of distance sampling concepts and topics from many of the other researchers who work on this, on these matters. Beyond the expanded lecture content. More excitingly, we've also added exercises and data sets for you to analyze, to get experience analyzing distance sampling problems and distance sampling data. So the most important thing for you to learn from this edition is that there is a new website, workshops.distancesampling.com dot org slash online course. So if you visit that website, you'll be presented with all of these additional resources. There's a discussion. I'll take you through just a few of the of the elements of this new website. There's a description of what the course contains. As I say, there are lectures in addition to having the lectures only in video format, you'll also be able to access the lectures in PDF format. So you'll be able to listen to them and watch them, as well as download these notes for your own purposes. I also mentioned a minute ago that there are a number of exercises. I think there are 12 exercises in total in this on this new website. And each of those exercises has a video describing what the exercise is about, a PDF of instructions asking you that describe steps you are to follow, another PDF that provides a sketch of the solution to the exercise, and another video that wraps up and summarizes what you should have taken away from the exercise. So there are, not only are there 12 exercises, but there are a large number of, of materials associated with each one of those exercises. Most excitingly about this website is that we've added some means by which you can speak to us and tell us about concepts that were unclear, concepts that we would like to have some amplification about, various sorts of things that you would like to know more about. In addition to the exercises, there are data sets, and we have data sets on this website for you to download, and by downloading them, you can then analyze them using the distance software and um, proceed through the steps described in the exercises. So we've broken the, all of this material down into chapters. So there are essentially six chapters. We'd like to have you go through all of them. There's an introduction. There's a chapter about assumptions of distance sampling. There's another chapter about doing point transects versus line transect sampling. 
Chapter 4 is obviously of importance to everyone, dealing with how to design surveys to be able to make distance sampling work best for your particular situation, and field methods associated with how should data be collected to best conform to the assumptions that distance sampling possesses. Chapter 5 is a bit of a mixed bag where we deal with topics of stratified surveys, where we deal with species where groups of individuals or clusters are encountered rather than single individuals, situations where you might want to entertain the possibility of covariates that you would like to include in the modeling of the detection function. And our final chapter deals with other issues that don't fit smoothly into those previous five chapters. And they also point you in the direction of where you can get additional help. So I'll just open one of these chapters at random. And as I say, each of these chapters consists of lectures that exist in both video and PDF format, exercises that exist in video and PDF format, data sets associated with those projects, and solutions, example solutions. So this is just chapter two, I believe. I also mentioned the fact that we've incorporated means by which you can give us feedback. So on each of these chapter pages, there is this thing called uh, a dialogue and discussion where you can provide us with your thoughts or your questions, and we'll get back to you with answers to those questions. There's a page of additional resources because even in this expanded format of this online course, we still can't cover everything. So we've given you some pointers about places, websites, papers, a variety of things that you can visit to learn more about these things. This website is intended to be a changing website where we add new information on a continuing basis. And so you'll see that um, we're going to have a page where we describe new features, new things that we've added to the website. And again, there's a place there for you to add your comments about, yes, it was good that you added this, or no, what you added wasn't very clear. Suffice it to say, we're excited, we really appreciate the 200 of you that have become subscribers to the previous channel that had the lectures that I had recorded some time ago. If you enjoyed those lectures, we really encourage you to visit this new website, new and expanded website, where you, where you will get to hear the thoughts of several of my colleagues, and you will also have the opportunity to get hands-on copies of the lecture materials, and more importantly, be able to do uh, exercises using getting a gaining experience by using the distance sampling software. So thanks again for your patronage and your use of the YouTube channel. In future, our development efforts are going to be focused on this website rather than on the YouTube channel. So henceforth, I encourage you to visit workshops.distancesampling.org slash online course. We'll see you there and hopefully tell your friends and colleagues and provide us with some feedback about things that you wish to see because this website will be under active development and we will continue to add materials that you deem useful. Thanks again.